The Unaru fishing, hunting, 27.5 inch mountain bike. Really nice bike. Pretty impressed so far. Put a little over 11 miles on this yesterday in the city. And um, so far so good. Powerful bike. They claim it's a 350 watt rear hub motor, but it moves me along very, very well. Surprisingly more powerful than I thought it would be. 100 millimeters of travel. And they are zoom branded with preload adjustments on each side. It does come with a headlight and a 180 millimeter front and rear rotor for the brakes with hydraulic brakes. They are unbranded, but I believe they're by Tektro. And the front wheel does come with a quick release hub. It is a one by in the front with a pro wheel crank. Um, parts that they skimped on was of course, like most manufacturers is pedals, but that will get upgraded. It does have an exiform shock, rear suspension. It is air. It is a full suspension bike. And for this batch, they went with the Sunrace M40 rear derailleur, which uh, is pretty much bulletproof. Shifts great. Seven speed Sunrace rear cassette. Seems to be geared right for this power setup. It's got a comfortable saddle that will be getting changed. Really nice kickstand also. Um, it's very easy to access and it seems pretty stable. Now I have changed the bars and I have changed the grips. That's the first thing I did if you watch my unboxing video. This computer is pretty nice because, well, it's in miles an hour or kilometers an hour. You can adjust this one and there's lots of hidden features inside to adjust power also. Like I said, this is a 36 volt, 350 watt bike, but uh, is surprisingly powerful. And this is the only markings on the bike, which I think is kind of classy. The paint is a matte red finish, and it does have very good welds. And it's got internal cable routing, which is also a bonus. Um, these right now run about $12.99, and it's actually a quite good value. Um, these are Kenda Havocs for tire for the tires, and they're 27.5 by 3, by 3.0. Um, they are actually labeled a moped tire, and they are directionals. And they do have a wire bead. Very heavy duty bike. It is very heavy. The pedal assist works great, five different levels, but we're gonna try this out on the trail today and see how it functions. On the road, it was beautiful. Um, speeds well above 20 miles an hour. So we'll see how it does on the trail and how the power is back on these uh, trails up here. And also while we're on the subject, before I forget, this bike does fit nicely on a rear rack bike carrier for your car. It's not too heavy, and it seems to work out perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to give you an idea of some of the terrain I'm rolling over here. So, let's see if I can this will make it. Big old stumps, there we go. Let's see these. Oh, very powerful. Rolling over logs. Very powerful. These are, these are trees I'm riding over. So this is impressive. This is the hidden part of the trail. It's too, sorry about the vibration, but you can see. Stabilize this later on. The power level on this bike is simply amazing. So much fun. Now, we got lots of. Oh, you gotta be careful with the power though. It can come on pretty strong and uh, pretty aggressive. It's fun, 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 fun. Okay, there's trees. Big hill, is it easy to climb? Yeah. Big steep, 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 steep. Can't see it on camera. I am standing up pedaling without throttle. Pedal assist comes on strong. It's like it senses that hill and just comes on strong. Very impressive. Very impressive. Now, I'm in my big gear, so let's, let's, uh, there we go. 
Oh, there's the sweet spot right there. Oh. Okay. It's the first I've been on this trail all year. And it's a, uh, it's a fun one. It's tight, twisty, lots of train, lots of rocks. So, as you can tell, as you can hear, I'm not getting a lot of rattles. Except for the phone. That's mostly what you're hearing is my camera rattling. Yeah, this bike is taking me back. I'm cruising 15 miles an hour right now without trying. Steep hill. I'm going to give it a little auto assist. Amazing. Amazing power. So happy. So happy. Yes. This bike is fun. Now I haven't adjusted anything on this with the rear derailleur, nothing. We got a big hill, climbing right up it. This is almost a 45 degree. Took my big 250 pound body right up it. Right there. And this is still a continuous climb I'm doing. Boom, to the top. Oh yeah, this is fun. Very fun. Tell you what, I mountain bike this all the time and during the year. Oh, this is all caved in back here. They moved it, cleared it all out. So, I mean, I mountain bike this trail every year, and uh, every time I do, it ends up being something stupid. So, it looks like they pushed some brush up over the trail here. So, I'm at the trail's end now. But this is cool. I'm very exciting. I'm very cool. Pedal assist works. Great, it's perfect. I take my downhill bike and I ride a lot of these trails. And I'm gonna shut my computer off. And uh, I'm three miles back up in right now. So that's how quickly I just put on three miles. So, I ride these all the time and I enjoy it on my downhill bike. Fun, great suspension. I'm having more fun on this because, well, it takes a lot of effort out going uphill. And these big tires ride so good. I've out of the box this thing, except for the handlebars and the stem. I haven't put air in the tires. I kept it right where it was. Uniru, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Um, I wish I could get you guys some better footage but I don't think I have a way of doing that let me see if I can do that see if I can strap this on different give you some better footage because let's enjoy the fun today I'll be right back I'm not sure if this is gonna work for you guys but if it does you're in for one hell of a ride because you're strapped right to the front of the bike let's uh let's take this trail back hopefully we don't crash or wreck or lose the camera power up the computer beautiful out here today Beautiful. So we're gonna might be doing a lot of twisting and turning with the strap on the way I have it, but let's go for it. Let's see what whoa, wheelied. Just take it off. Just wheelied on me. Okay. Let me get my power assist mode up here. And uh get my shift in. I'm gonna set it at about let's set it at four. Alright. You guys can see. Awesome. It's, is oh, this is the down, down part. Kind of like one of my personal trails that really nobody knows about. Great, right? Fun riding, guys. Hope you can see the ride. Nice hill. Power just comes on as soon as it senses that hill. Mud flinging everywhere. Phone rattle. You're hearing that rattle? That's the phone. Whoa! Lots of power on these twisties. Oh, thing just wheelied again when I gave it throttle. 350 watts. I don't know how they do it. Look at this is all uphill. And it's just look at these rocks. Oh man! Power just comes on. 
This is impressive. Very impressive. And when I get done, I'll check every nut and bolt, make sure everything's perfect again. Check these trails out, guys. What do you think? 1300 bucks, 12.99, and I'm having more fun than I had on my $6,000 downhill. This is what it's about. <laughs> I almost had a washout in the back. We'll go back there. Hard game on hard. Woo! Yes, sir. Including these trees slow. Yeah, if you don't know this trail, you will crash. For sure. You see these trees? There's trees set up, and you literally have to steer perfectly to get each side of the handlebars through when you're running these 780 mils. Oh, almost washed out again. Hill, lots of power. I'm in, I'm in four, not in five. 10 miles an hour up the hill. Give me some gas. There we go. And we still get a workout, which is great. We have our log. Oh, oh nice. We have another log. Oh, oh nice. Our steep hill. Nice. Very steep. That's about a 45. Well, you do get a good workout. Definitely. There. I just went to power system 5. This is the easy part of the trail. Very fun. Very fun. Cruising right now. 20. 20 miles an hour. Very fun. All right. We're going to head back. Okay. I can't look at my gauge right now, really, guys, because it switches back and forth so fast. I have to keep my eyes on the trail. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to have to, I can hear my derailleur a little bit. So I'm going to have to adjust that. But this is the first ride off road. So adjustments, of course, are going to be necessary. The cables haven't been stretched yet.
So the only thing I can say was, holy was that fun. This bike has just performed better than I ever imagined it would. Whatever they're doing, they need to keep it up because Unaru, you got this bike down. It's a blast. Um, I didn't think I was going to have that much fun on this bike. This bike is a blast. It's a bit muddy right now. Camera won't pick on. She's a bit muddy, but it was so fun. The suspension works great. Everything works perfectly. I am going to have to adjust my rear derailleur. I can hear it just a little bit, but that's to be expected. Like I said, new cables haven't even stretched yet. So, but no missed shifts, nothing like that. Brakes worked flawlessly. Stop me, me and the bike. Like I said, I'm 215 pounds and it moves me good. And that's from a 350 watt or so they say hub, which is really, they either got it dialed in really, really right and correct, or it's more power. I don't know. I'm very curious because this is the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, guys. Unaru 27.5 mountain bike. They call it a hunt and fishing bike. I call it a fun get off the road and balls to the wall party bike. All right, guys. Bye.